Okay. Uh, so yeah, so this is like probably the latest I've ever done a Guild War. Maybe. But yeah, this is like super late. Um, I usually do. I'm starting to to sort of do these later and later, just because a lot of times, um, if we lose or win, it's usually before um, I attack. Like it's decided before I have anything to do with it, so um, I'm just okay with kind of like stepping back a little bit just because. Of, uh, um, but yeah, so that that's the main thing is just that like. I'm more okay with not having to worry about uh, Guild War if I don't have to worry about Guild War. Um, so this is my defense team. Uh, this this team down here again, it, it just kind of sucks. It's just kind of here. Um, I want to put something with a Vildred down here as soon as I get him. But uh, this team up here got beaten sort of fair and square. I mean, this is a team I, I put together. Um, I think it's, it'd be pretty good. Um, so I lost here. I lost here. Down here, it's, it's more like I lost because I don't have anything good to put down here, so there's that. Um, I really need to build my, probably my Spectre Schneebier or something, but that's besides the point. I think it would be interesting to see maybe Spectre Schneebier with Arbiter. Um, yeah, that sounds kind of interesting. But yeah, anyway, that's, that's sort of to one side. So uh, successful defense here. Uh, got KO'd twice here by these guys, so that kind of sucks. Uh, war ranking, we are 192. Uh, we're, it looks like we're going to lose this one. So we have 8 attacks. They have 9 attacks. No. Oh, they had 9 a while ago. Well, I guess it's gone down. Um, but in these 8 attacks, if, if we had 10 attacks at 120 Havoc each, that would be um, 1,200 Havoc. And we'd still be way behind them. Uh, so, you know. Regardless, however, whatever we do from now uh, at this point, it, we lost anyway. So uh, that's kind of a weight off my shoulders, basically. Uh, so it's just uh, one of the main reasons I brought that up is like obviously you want to kind of like focus on like dropping towers that are kind of close, maybe like hitting this tower, this tower, and then leaving it for someone else to take it. Um, but it's not that big a deal, just because like I said, we're gonna lose regardless. So I think I'm just gonna hit uh, fortress here first. Uh, this mid tower here, and then I'll probably have to find some other. Like I said, probably hit one of these. So hit either this one or this one here. Um, I think I'm gonna. So let's take a look at this one here first. Uh, this one, the bottom one, looks a little easier. I think I'm gonna take. I just recently regeared my DN, so hopefully she's a little better. Uh, if I can find her somewhere. Uh, DN is over here somewhere. Da, da, da. She's in the waters. Oh, she's not max awakened. Might be the main reason why. Yeah. Uh, here she is. Uh, I think I want to put this here. Uh, these two are going to focus her. She's going to do whatever, but it doesn't matter who she's focusing on. Um, so I'm good with that. Up here is where the real uh, issue comes in. What, I th what I'm thinking of doing is running this, but with like a counter setup. So running, like just, just counter bulk. Um, let's go, where is, what's his name? Where's, what's her name? Uh, my, ML, my MLCC around here somewhere. So maybe trying to just like bulk them out. Um, She's pretty good at taking out Charles. Charles, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, she's she's all right at hitting him pretty hard. Um, problems being, uh, yeah, they don't have any healing, so I think it's okay to run what I have now. Uh, the only question I need to ask myself is going to be: Do I want to run Bassar or Angelic Montmorency? I think that that this A is pretty fast too. Let me take a look here. Yeah, he's probably rocking two hundred speed or something like that. Uh, that's what two thirty one ish. So maybe a little more than two hundred speed. So the problem with that is he's probably not gonna be hitting as hard uh, against these units that are tankier. Um, so my question, I think what I'm gonna do here is run 
Let's hope he doesn't die, but uh, maybe run. No, I, yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with this. They don't have any healing, so all my damage is meaningful, is what the, the bottom line comes to this. Um, his damage is obviously going to be meaningful because he's got, for one, Arbiter Villager, so he does a lot of damage. He's going to hurt us a lot. Uh, but for two, he's got Charles, which is also going to hit us a lot. Um, but he doesn't have any healing. Um, I do have some healing, but like I said, it's not probably not going to be enough to counteract how much damage is coming out, but hopefully it's enough to mitigate it somewhat. Um, down here, it's just sort of uh, AoE till they all die. Um, yeah, hopefully with the attack buff from her and the crit resistance, uh, we're, we're pretty solid down here. Um, yeah, I guess there's uh, not a whole lot more. I'm kind of contemplating whether or not I want to run uh, Crow instead. And I think I might just go with Crow. Well, yeah, this is an interesting one. Actually, yeah, I might just stick with this. Well, Crow will make this faster because I can S3 somebody and then they'll just die. Um, which is good. Uh, but. Will Crow. Like, I'm, I'm double stacking with the uh, defense buff. So, will it be worth doing? I think so to some degree because. Do they have immunity? Hold on, let me check. The Charles does have immunity, the others do not. Uh, that's kind of interesting. I'm not thinking about running Tenebria, but I'm thinking about running uh, Dizzy. Maybe. No, she's not going to survive this. I think running this is fine. Let's just go in there. Um, we don't need to second guess ourselves. Uh, so this is yeah, it's like a 200 speed. Um, my Basar is 223, so yeah, that uh, that villager is like 200 speed or something like that. Uh, just get the defense buff up. Doesn't really matter a whole lot considering um, Charles is probably gonna strip it, but at least everybody else gets it. The person who needs it the most is going to be. Uh, uh, DJ Basar over there. Uh, let's just. Do I want to? I don't want to S three here because she's just gonna S three. Well, actually, I kind of do because then, yeah, he'll hit that, and it'll hit into nothing. Okay, so that's fine. Um, again, the one I need to baby the most is going to have to be uh Basar DJ Basar over there. Okay, cool. So, skill nullified. Uh, that... Uh, that blind is kind of annoying. Uh, 31, 4,000. So he's already, like, not... Obviously he's not dead, but, like, he's pretty low. So I think we can just focus on him. He's on counter set, I think. So this is going to be pretty annoying. It's quite a bit of damage. And he gets a dual attack, of course. Uh, why wouldn't he? Where do you get this? Oh, that's why. Okay, that's fine. And I got the counter. Okay. And I think he's going to get the S2 proc, too. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, very interesting. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Cause this is bad because this villager is now doing way too much damage. Uh, yeah, so he's dead. Yeah. You guys are seeing this, right? You guys saw this? Um, I lost on every single dual attack he got there. Um, so yeah, that was that. Two dual attacks back to back from the MLCC. The what's his name? The Charles S two, which is the only reason I didn't. Uh, let's put this up. The only reason I didn't um, he didn't dual attack with Charles, but both of the SC, FCC F, S ones he dual attacked on them, which is just amazing, personally. Of course, it's 
fine. Uh, let us. I'm going to hit you to try to drop more of your uh, your thing there. So right now I have. Um, let's just hit him with this. Right now I have Rod of Amaryllis. Yeah, Rod of Amaryllis on my. Uh, on DN here but I really I'm starting to think maybe I should run um, Celestine on her uh, because so Rod of Amaryllis is pretty good because I mean it, it's a 50-50 with her because uh, two turns you'll be using her S2 and her S3 and two turns you'll be using her S1 uh, so regardless I mean you know you know each one is going to be used uh, of course she got the uh, stun on that that's amazing the stun that means that she's running Abyssal Crown. Ugh, that's just amazing. Um, but anyway, what I was saying was... So regardless, either one, you're healing quite a bit. So you're getting the heal from the um, Celestine two turns, or you're getting the heal from the uh, Rod of Amaryllis for two turns. Um, I, I do think that maybe the Rod of Amaryllis might be better on her, uh, because turn one, you're just going to activate the S3. And on turn one, either well, I mean, depending how fast they are, right? Like if you're if you're if you're faster, then usually you'll get the S one off or the S three off, and then you heal, and then you heal, but there's no one to heal, right? Um, let's see, let's do, but there's no one to heal, right? So that's kind of my thinking is that like maybe putting it, uh, making the heal her S one might be a little bit better uh, in the long term. So, Ruel has 150 resistance, and Dien has about 100, uh, in case anybody wanted to keep track of that. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's hit you. Uh, I need to, I'm forced to heal you, because you're going to die. Uh, I don't know. I think S10A is going to hit DN now instead. Uh, okay. So I think they're all going to hit S10A, which is kind of interesting. Um, so let us do. Let's just do this. Uh, my S10A is missing quite a bit of health. She doesn't have her last awakening. I don't know if it'll make her significantly tankier, but um, it'll certainly help. Uh, and basically just uh, SSB with uh, attack buff is basically unfair. It's like really bad. Um, like you have massive attack penetration from like massive amount of penetration from the uh, Rengars along with the, uh, let's go here, uh, along with the, what's it called? Um, Penetration along with the, the fact that you're just hitting them really hard now that you have attack buff like attack buff on its own is like really strong uh, But then you know the fact that Rengar's penetrates so much. is like even better uh, I feel like Maybe I'll just put this up here I think what I'm going to do I don't know what kind of speed this is. I'm going to pause this and go check that right now. Uh, so I came back because it didn't really matter what speed they have. I don't have uh, my ox slots built, so it's not like... I mean, I could DJ Basar, but uh, my, my plan is to bring in a little bit and then just one-shot the uh, Arbiter Vildred. Um, but I think the problem is going to be that Lilibet's not fast enough because DJ Basar only gives you like a 30% um, boost. Yeah, did you start you 30% boost? Oh shit, hold on. <laughs> uh, did you start only gives you 30% boost? And I'm not sure that'll be enough to get her uh, where she needs to be. Um, let's put you here. Uh, let's put you here. And then let's put you. Where is my healer? Where's DJ? Oh, he died. Shit. 
That's interesting. That's an interesting problem to have. So there you go. I didn't even need to worry about that because I don't have DJ. Uh, let's put you here. So... Oh man, this is looking horrible. Uh, let's go with. Oh man, it's so bad not having a CR pusher. Uh, da, da, da. uh da, da. We'll see how that top one does. I don't have high. I don't have the highest hopes for it, but uh, it doesn't seem to be. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like the worst possibility. Um, down here, I don't have a CR pusher, so I can't bring Yuffie into this. Um, I might just run with you. Uh, S two. He's, she's gonna taunt him. Uh, basically, I need to keep uh, him alive. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'll probably just hit him with the uh, immunity from... What's her name? From Momo. Okay, this is good. It's a good sign. Something about that like impactful water sound, it's really satisfying. Uh, if anything, I think the problem here is going to be that... Wow, he hit through crit resistance. Thank you. The problem here is going to be that... Um, I mean, you know, she might just die. Um, but, well, yeah, I guess, okay, never mind. I was going to say one of the problems here is that maybe uh, Deanne's not tanky enough. Uh, but that doesn't seem like a an issue. But of course, I got the uh, blind. I got the miss. At least I hit the arbiter. Not necessarily a good thing, though. Let's whittle you down here. Uh, so let's heal and cleanse. Very nice. Let's uh, hit you again. So he, so he got the crit again, uh, which is pretty cool. Cool beans, bro. Uh, let's just hit you. I think I'm just gonna focus on her. Um, if I'm honest with you. Just hit this, see what happens. I think the, the the one thing I'm scared about is maybe killing the arbiter with the attack since I have the attack buff. Okay, so that wasn't that wasn't so bad. Um let's hit you. Okay, so she's gonna use her S3 on herself, which is good. Because uh, now it means I can just kinda kill this uh like if if he dies and it's you know he'll be dead, so that's cool. Um oh she she healed him, that's weird. I, for some reason, I guess, I, I don't know, I wasn't expecting that. It's kind of weird. Invincible miss. Oh, oh, and she, he missed the crit. Finally, <laughs> the crit resistance did something. Uh, I don't think it'll be enough, though, because now Arbiter's back. Um, let's see what the, let's see what's going to happen here. That wasn't too bad. To you. Um, the end's up next, so I think they're gonna focus her, so I'm gonna heal her. Uh, if the end dies, then I can just revive her. I think I need the shield. I, I want the shield here. I really should have gone for the uh, S3 though, just because like the CR push, the CR push there. Hit you. She's not dead yet. And there's one. Oh, there we go. Cool. Uh, one, and then here comes what's his face. Okay. I think I'm just gonna. Well. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna burn this. Okay, so this isn't going too too bad. Um. Once I get Sinful Angelica, I think uh, this will go a lot better. Because um, basically, my DN outsped here, which means that Sinful Angelica 
I'll probably build more speed on her. Um, let's hit you. Let's get rid of this Arbiter as soon as possible. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, I, I hit him through the, the miss buff there, which is nice. Uh, if anything, I'm worried now that... Uh, okay, let's just hit him. Hopefully he dies. Yes, he died. Cool. Uh, so that went well. Uh, so finally, Deanne is, is where she should be. Uh, Deanne is here because she's a non-attack, decently fast um, at, uh, attack buffer. Uh, he used to run like uh, what's his name here, so I need to give him the uh, this just to make sure he doesn't die. Um, wow, wow, well, that was worthless because Alencia is about to strip it. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, but anyway, uh, I used to run uh, what's his name Charles with uh, her a lot because uh, she used to give her the attack buff, um, but he attacks, which is oftentimes it's not something you want because then you know you end up in trouble. Sometimes, oh, come on. See, then things like this happen sometimes. So he's gonna get the S two or the S two off, and then crit on. Oh, he didn't. Okay, cool. Um. So she's not gonna attack, which is fine. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, hopefully not. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna hit you. I really should have hit that uh, Lencia, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, because now basically Charles can just uh, do this and hopefully kill her. Uh, I'm not getting the attack buff, but that's fine. Okay, so he did get some healing and she's going to go on him. Uh, so he's gonna die. Unfortunately, we're losing Crow here. Um, Crow's always a uh, a loss you don't want. Um, but I think for the greater good, uh, he had to die there. One into the S two defense buff strip, please. Nope. Okay, she doesn't have enough effectiveness to. Oh, she might just kill him though. Okay, so this is going pretty well I think um, yeah okay so this is great okay cool man uh, what's her name Momo can like tank Wyvern 13 but she can't tank an Alencia which is a testament to just how strong Alencia is uh, so we lost what's his name uh, Crow there, which is all right. I'm curious to see how our team did against this. Uh, so it looks like no one really attacked him. It's just me and these other two. Uh, so lastly, let's just go pick someone off who's like uh, a you know random tower here. Uh, this looks pretty bad. Um, so he's most definitely going to outspeed me. Uh, da, da, da. Man, I lost like all my tanks there. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's take a look and see how this goes. I probably should have checked the other tower, see if it was easier or something, but um, that's fine. Uh, okay, so... At least the Alensa is going first, which is alright. Um, see how much damage she does. She's got 21k HP, means she's probably got decent crit damage. 5k? It's not bad. Um, she's going to get hit by Kron, I think, because Kron's not going to go into uh, water. Uh, ineffectiveness or whatever. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Okay. Let's 
hit this. Uh, so this is another, this is the other situation where they went first and this healing actually did something. So again, like I said, it's like 50-50 in terms of like, uh, let's just hit you. Right now I'm kind of concerned with hitting um, Alencia because that S1 and S2 is very strong. And we don't have immunity, so of course she got it off of one hit. Uh, let's heal everybody, or let's heal somebody. I think she's gonna heal herself. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, S to S two. So she's got resistance, so hopefully she can resist his defense pro uh, defense breaks. Um. Can I kill you with this? Probably not. No. Didn't trigger the passive. Okay, so now it's my turn to do the thing I'm broken to do. Uh, so he's down. Let's hit you. Okay. Oh, so he's got uh, Water's Origin. Very interesting. Uh, let's just kill him with the S1. Okay, so I didn't really need to use my S3 for any of this. Uh, let's just hit you again. Ooh, she still hit her. Uh, fortunately, I had the... Uh, uh, she didn't proc her uh, passive. So this isn't going to do very much. Ah, it did decent damage. Um, let's see how this does. Oh, I got the defense break. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to heal her. Okay, so basically this is over, um, I think, anyway. So S3. I'm going to S3 finally here. Uh, so he's going to die, and I'm going to do, hopefully, good damage on Alencia. With the attack buff and again the Rengars, even through a miss. So 9,000 damage through a miss is pretty good. And then I'm going to get the S2 proc, so we're basically done here. Uh, da, da, da. Ooh, she's not dead yet. Very interesting. Uh, let us do this. Uh, yeah, so my Dan, she's all right. Uh, ideally, obviously, you want a little more speed. Uh, you want a little more uh, tankiness. She's got like 16k HP, which is not very good whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so to, she gets the job done is basically what I'm saying here. Uh, yeah, and she's dead. There we go. Uh, the bottom team is, is a little more concerning. So let's take a look at what happens down here. Okay. It's an interesting team, uh, just because my damage dealer is uh, non counter attack uh, Charles, um, which tends to be a problem. Uh, so let's just so this is nice because we get to take off their uh, skill nullifier and put our own. Charles might counter attack here, but he doesn't, so that's cool. Which means I get to make this irrelevant, uh, and I get that into nothing. Uh, so he's going to go. He's going to do damage, of course, which is fine. Let's see if he breaks the barrier. Uh, he barely broke it. Um, I don't know if this Charles is on Elbrus. So let's just gamble it again. Uh, this is really going to suck if he's on Elbrus because I'm going to lose these buffs. Uh, so he's an Elbrus. It's one. Come on, come on. Ugh. So Charles might die here, because uh, now he's coming back. Yeah, he's dead. Um, so that kind of sucks. Uh, basically, I need to focus on killing uh, him as soon as possible. Okay, I slept. So they're gonna focus on her. Uh, let's see if he takes my buffs. He shouldn't. Uh, I forgot about the stupid barrier from CC, so I don't think we're gonna be able to kill him uh, and keep ourselves alive at the same time. Uh, so let's just burn that for now. Uh, 
let's just get this out. Yes, yeah, this is bad. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah. There's not really much we can do. He's already got two turns next on that. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting kind of tired, so I guess I'll just um, take the L here and uh, move on. My life. Uh, no reason to deal with this nonsense. I want to go take a look at that other tower. Maybe that other tower was easier. Uh, let's go here. Uh, I attacked that one, so I was going to take a look at this one. Uh, this team... I think I could have brought the DN uh, Ruel team up there. Uh, maybe... I think then this bottom one probably would have been good for Dizzy and um, Tenebria. Uh, whether I would have won is uh, again, it's like you know, who knows, may or may not. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's this Guild Wars. Um, we're losing uh, again and getting dropped down. Um, these Arby's are really killing us. Like everybody else's Arby's are better than ours, <laughs> really. Um, I think a few of these teams. So let's. I want to. I guess uh, at this point, you can just. I mean, you know. Not many of you stuck around this far, but um, this team was easy with Arby. Uh, this team, Arby with the uh, what's her name, the sinful Angelica, could have been pretty good down here, I think. Uh, but Arby's not really a solution to this here. So let's take a look here. I want to take a look at this team. Um. It's a good question as to whether or not Arby would have helped uh, here where I lost. Because I beat this one pretty easily, but would I have won at something like this? Uh, it's an interesting question. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um... Let's see, if I had, so probably would have taken um, like a healer, RB, and ML, uh, MLCC. Would I have done, would I have been able to do anything here? Eh, maybe. Uh, the thing is, if I kill their RB and then their RB kills me, or, yeah, so it depends on whose RB goes first, right? So his RB, before dying, kills me and one shots my RB. My Arby will come back. I'll hit back and then kill their Arby, and then their Arby will come back and kill me. Um, maybe. I really do need to build my uh, what's her name? Uh, the girl, uh, Maid Chloe. There we go. Uh, for revive, she's not very good on defense, but on offense, she's pretty good because you just take her into stuff that uh, you don't have to worry about strips or anything like that. Um, so what did I lose to here? I think I beat this team up here. Oh, no, I beat both of them, so I don't have to worry about that one. Um, let's take a look at this one again. I lost to I, this first one. So this is the first one. It's that same thing. Um, these teams aren't necessarily that hard. Uh, what I what I would do uh, if I could, I'd probably uh, just bring what's her name. Um, like ox lots into uh, what into uh, what's her name? I have it right here somewhere. Oh well, uh, ox lots into Lilibet. Sorry, it's like really late, so my brain is like uh, it's just mush. Um, so ox lots into Lilibet would be nice. Uh, just keep Arbiter from coming back, and then uh, so one shot the Arbiter, and then worry about uh, these two. Uh, after that, hopefully she has enough damage to just basically kill. I mean, most Charles, like, you can you can make a 15k Charles uh, and not really make a difference because Charles is just very squishy. Um, yeah, so like a 15k Charles isn't too big a deal because you can just hit him uh, hard enough and he'll just die. He'll fall over. Uh, of course, counter Charles is a huge nightmare, but like, if I, I could, like, you could bring Oxlots, made Chloe... And uh, 
and what's her name? Lilibet into this, right? Oxlots boosts the the what's his name? Oxlots boosts the Lilibet. Lilibet goes, kills the uh, Arbiter. There's no way. Does she have? Let's go take a look here. Let's go over here to the journal. She's built, but again, I don't have an Oxlot, so I'm kind of like uh, thirsting for that. Does one of these give you skill nullifier? There we go. So I mean, I'm always hesitant to bring her in because then, so you go into S, you go into the S three to kill a um, an arbiter, but then like if there's a Charles there, he'll either counter and then one shot you, or he'll S three and then one shot you anyway. Um, but you get skill nullifier, which it's not wholly useful. It's only good at preventing the S one into S two combo if he elverses you. Uh, because then, uh, if you saw there, the next person to would have gone would would have been the uh, FCC. So FCC would have cleansed the the uh, what's it called? Would have cleansed the uh, the skill nullifier. Uh, but if you had made Chloe there, you could just revive her if she dies to the uh, Charles S three, which she she may not. Um, she doesn't. She's not the tankiest person in the world. But Charles S three has a tendency not to like just one shot a lot of people. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, this looks this looks pretty interesting now. Um, Soul cutter, ten percent damage, and I get the uh, increased. Uh, the, the increased what's it called is already built in. Um, so yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, I never really thought about this before. I might have to build like. I mean, I'll probably have to build an oxlot with like an offset because I can build like a maybe like a two forty speed oxlots. Um. Yeah, I could probably build like a 240 speed Oxlots, and 240 would have been enough to um, pass their team. So I might just have to build like an offset Oxlots at some point. Um, again, I'm not gonna like not for cleaving, right? You don't want to outspeed, um, you know, really fast units because you're just gonna get outsped. But uh, having one to beat decently slow teams like that would be pretty good. Because I mean, the highest you're the highest speed you're pushing on an Arbiter Vildred is like 220, and at 220 you're not doing any damage, so. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Something for those of you out there. A uh, little bit is pretty much the almost the perfect counter for um, a Vildred. It's kind of interesting though because they, they released units to counter a Vildred, like um, what's his name? Blood Moon Haste. Uh, what else? Sinful Angelica. But all I had to do was like buff a unit that was already there. Yeah, I might have to. I might have to experiment with her, build a lot somewhere, do something. Um, but yeah, probably. <laughs> see, I need to boost my uh, portrait here. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this guild war. Um, pardon the low energy. It's just it's kind of hard to go into these uh, caring when we already you basically already lost. Uh, but yeah, so you know, good luck to anybody out there who needs it, and hopefully you learned something, a thing or two from this video and. I th uh, hopefully next guild war i'll be able to showcase what i'm talking about or well next guild war we're going to be ranked down so we're just going to we're probably just going to stomp on whoever we get matched up against next time but the one after next time hopefully we'll uh i'll be able to showcase some of these things and it's not just like in theory it works uh uh you know in practice it, it works just as just as well uh i'm hoping anyway uh, but yeah so that's that uh until next time